Hey guys, I've talked a lot in the past about the Erin Condren planners I've used, but I haven't focused much on the notebooks or the writing tools. I've been using the 7x9 coil notebooks for a few years now, and I like them a lot. Um, today, the team at Erin Condren is throwing some sunshine my way and adding the A5 notebooks to the lineup and some new fancy writing tools and fun accessories. I happen to have a box of some of the new products and I can't wait to show them off. I'm pretty excited about everything in this box. So let's go. All right, let's start with the vegan leather stand-up notepad and holder. This retails for $24. I've shown you in a past video, the Focus Collection one, I think, where there's a similar one to this. This one's kind of a shimmery, rose gold kind of a blush color and it it folds looks like a triangle sits really great on your desk just like this um the notepad that comes in it is monday through sunday and then it has a box for notes as well as some to-do boxes on the side now it's perforated here so you can tear it and let me see i think i have one already torn out i do um it tears it right here you can set this aside if you still have tasks to do. You can leave it on here and just tear this part off. A little bit of flexibility there. What I also like about this is that there's a separate refill for um, to go weekly view. This refill is the weekly one. It retails for $10. It has high priority, medium priority, low priority and then action steps to take care of those things. And then there's also a to-do to do list on the side. They're also perforated, so you can tear them off. A little bit of flexibility there. This is um, a little more purple in the cover. So this is more of a pink and this is more of a, I don't know what color you would call that. If pink and purple had a baby, this is what it would be. Maybe mauve? I don't know, but I think it's really pretty. And this is the, the weekly layout versus the, I don't know what they're calling this one, or if this one's gonna be available as a refill, but this is the one that comes with it. All right, so those are the stand-up notebooks. Next, let's take a look at the small acrylic desk organizer. They also come, there's a medium-sized one. I don't know how big that one is or what it's gonna look like, but on the, the product list that I saw, there's a medium one out there too. So this is pretty on par with the other acrylic desk accessories that they have. This one's kind of neat because it's it's in an angle here and you can put, um, here, look at this guy. You can put these right here, it sits on your desk, doesn't take up very much space, and it has four compartments. The small one, it's got the mid-century circles. Can you see that? Mid-century circles on the bottom there. And it will retail for $18. And then the medium one, again, I don't know much about the medium one, but that one is gonna cost 22. So that is one of the newer acrylic organizers. All right, next, we've seen some of these Swell water bottles. This one's the really pretty watercolor flower ones. It's 17 ounces. Um, I refill mine about four times a day. So I'll drink five of these in one day. So the water that I put in here is not in there very long, but when it is in there, it stays super cold. So I've, I'm told that it stays cold for a long time, but I've never tested it because I, I drink water pretty quickly. So they're really pretty, very durable. I've dropped mine a couple times, um, <laughs> which is embarrassing, um, but it mine is still holding up pretty well. I don't have I don't have my my other one in here with me, but this is one of the newer ones. And these swell bottles, I think they're thirty five. Yes, they are thirty five. All right, should we take a look at next a sticky note roll? These we have. I can't get it to focus. These we saw in some of the winter boxes, the gift boxes. I had one from the teacher box. Um, they are mid-century circles on the side here, and it's got kind of like the like a packaging tape 
container where you can just tear it up there. It's pretty hard to get started. Um, you have to slice it with a slicer, but I don't have tweezers. With the other one, I got tweezers to get it to pull. There we go. Um, so they're two inches wide. And I think, I think it's like 16 feet. 16.4 feet. So these are the sticky note rolls and they will be $7.50. So the whole back is slightly tacky. So, you know, you can tear it really at, at any, any section and the whole thing will stick down. I don't know if they will be available in other colors or not. I think they're just sticking with this. Um, kind of a seafoam green color, which I think is pretty, but I don't know. They might have more. We shall see. Next, let's look up, take a look at these. These are the metallic click duo pens. They're just kind of a run-of-the-mill ballpark ballpoint pen. They're um, pretty lightweight, and you click it up at the top and just snap it like that. There, it's black ink. And one silver, one gold. And this dual pack is going to be something like, I'm going to say 10, but that might not be right. They are, the two pack silver and gold is 1050. And I do have these swatched out, and I'll leave them here. I do have those swatched out on a notebook that I'll show you in just a minute. Um, next, we have more ballpoint pens. I love these. These are, in my opinion, a lot better than these two we just took a look at, and I'll show you why. They feel better writing on the paper. The color's a little more intense, um, and they feel better in my hand. So this is a three-pack, and it's going to retail for three pack it's $12.50 so this will retail for $12.50 it comes with like the harbor gray it's kind of a I don't know if this is cornflower blue or like a periwinkle blue and then the blush pink color but these are it feels really soft like I don't I don't know if it's silicone or what it's considered um but it feels really good in my hand and it writes writes really well on paper so I'll show you those swatched out in a second also then we have these we saw in the, I think it was one of the previous um, seasonal surprise boxes. It was a, a two pack of the um, stamper pens. Um, one end has um, the circle like the to do dot and then a pen on the other side. And then um, the other marker has the asterisk on one end and then the pen on the other side. So this is red and nectarine and there oh i opened them from the bottom when i swatched them that's why okay so it is it's black it's black on this side and then it's got you know the color of the barrel on this side so that's the asterisk and the to do dot and then the next pack is hot pink and purple. The hot pink is the asterisk and the purple is the dot. And again, they're both black on this end. Kind of a fine tip, easy to write with. And then the other one, I think out of all three of these sets, I like this one better. Um, the cerulean and the kelly green so these colors i reach for a lot more um so it's got the stamper on this end and the fine tip on this end and those dual tip markers are going to be 1050 for the the set of two so each one of these boxes will be 1050. this is the asterix pen clip uh, this is available in gold, platinum, and rose gold. It'll be $5.50. I think this one's been on the site for a little while now, but it comes clipped onto this. You can clip it onto 
any notebook. You can clip it onto some of the, the soft bound notebooks too. And it's, this is soft and adjustable. So you can fit a lot of different size pens in here. Like my favorite is the executive pen. It's so heavy. I love this one. Um, but it'll fit in there nice and tight right now. I don't know if they stay tight, like with excessive usage, if it might get stretched out, I don't know because I haven't used these before, but right now I'm loving how it feels on this. And then it also can be used with these super skinny pens and it fits pretty nicely. So again, this is the Ascaris pen clip and it is $5.50. I'm gonna hang on to this. I'm gonna show you what that looks like on one of my notebooks here in a sec. Um, these are new. I think I really like them, but I'm not sure about this one just yet. So I did a swatch and some sample note taking with these. These are, these are chisel tip, these are, these are the dual tip fine chisel tip sets, pack of six. It'll be $15.50. And the colors are super pretty. Um, so you've got one end that you can write with and then one end that you can highlight with. So this one has a, is this one the black one? I think it is. So the pen's black and the chisel tip is a slate, I think. Slate, yes. And then we've got the mermaid. This is the one that I use to take notes. And it is on my fingers. And it kind of leaked here. So I don't know. I can't say that I love these just yet. Um, the highlighter works really, really well. It, I haven't seen any leaking with that. But this is the only one of the pen sizes that I've, I've tried yet. Um, other than just to do a quick swatch. This I use to actually take notes and write. So I don't know. I don't like this one particular pen in this set. But I might like the rest of them. We shall see. There's navy and turquoise. There is royal blue and dusk. Iris and lilac. And then fuchsia and peony. So I will show the swatch of those here in just a few minutes. Um, these are the dual tip highlighters and it's also a set of six and they're also 1550. Um, I use this to take some notes also and I didn't have any problems with it but I didn't write a ton and they seem to be kind of the same format so I don't know if it has the potential to leak and I just haven't seen that happen um, or if this one I had here was just kind of a fluke I don't know yet but um, these are all black on this side. All the pens on these are black. So there, that's one of the main differences between the chisel tip and, and this one, um, cause these are colored on the other side. So you've got your black fine point on this side, and then you've got your kind of chisel tip highlighter on this side, which these colors I am in love with. Um, there's pear, spruce, Robin, Cornflower, Orchid, and Rose. So these I like, but I am cautious in my liking just because I'm still mad that I have ink on my fingers. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I can let go of that. I don't know. Um, this guy is pretty cool. Um, this is the Organizer Caddy, and it says, Organize and carry more of your writing tools, art supplies, makeup, and more. So this one says large, so I don't know if they have um, more sizes that are going to be available um, or if they're going to have more colors. And I don't have a price for this one yet. I know nothing about this other than it feels really sturdy. It's hard plastic. Um, it's got little... What are these called? I don't know. Little things on the bottom that keep them from slipping. Um, and what I think that I will like most about this one is that these look like they come up. They do. So this one, this one, and this one come out. So you can kind of tweak what you use them for. Um, I'm not sure yet how I'm going to use it. I might give it to my daughter because she when I got it in the mail the other day, kind of had her eye on it. She's going to like it for the dorm, I think, because she's got her room and then they share a sweet bathroom. So three to four girls share 
one bathroom. So they leave the room to go to the bathroom. It's really close by, but if you don't want to keep all your stuff in the bathroom, it'd be kind of cool to, to tote it along that way. Um, also, I'm starting to think about this now. Um, I make tumblers with rhinestones on them. So I have a lot of stuff that I tote around with me. I might use this for that. I don't know, but mid-century circles are really pretty soft purple color and it's adjustable. So right now it gets a thumbs up. We'll see with continued use if I continue to like it, but right now I really like it. Um, oh, more pens. I forgot about these. This is a, they're actually markers. This is a metallic marker set of 10. It will be $15 and 50 cents. Um, I think I'd like them more if they were a finer tip, um, pen, but they are kind of metallic markers. And when I first wrote with some of these, I don't know if you can tell, there's like, you can see the silver metallic in this one. And you could kind of see that line when you wrote, but then as it dried, it wasn't quite as noticeable. So I don't, I don't know how I feel about these yet um, or how I would use them. They're really, really pretty and the colors that come out of them are very rich. Um, but I wouldn't use them for note taking. Um, I might use them for labeling things. And I like the, the kind of variety of colors. They're not like in your face. Um, like this one, I love the pastel purple. The white is nice and the silver and gold are nice. Um, I don't know. I'll show you, I'll show you this swatch here in a second, but there's hot pink, dark coral, orange, green, turquoise, royal blue, purple, white, silver, and gold. Alrighty. And we have seen... Well, I've seen, I don't know if you've seen them or not, um, the different sticky pockets that you can put inside the, the different notebooks and folders that they have on this site. This one, I haven't seen the pocket shape, like a, a jeans pocket or a shirt pocket or something. Um, I haven't seen these before, but this, they come in a two pack and I think there are going to be three colors available. Um, I think there's going to be something called Sunrise, Twilight, and Rainbow in each two pack is going to be seven dollars and fifty cents so um they match each other and they're this one's rainbow you just you peel the backing off and then you stick it to a notebook like these are really really good for like an a5 size um, one of the new a5 coil notebooks looks like this it has how beautiful change can be on the cover it's interchangeable um this is the neutral not colorful it's classic line notebook and there are hmm, i think it's 160 sheets so 80 pages 160 sheets um and it has the erin condren logo here up in the corner very small space everything else is lined it's it's college rolled it's the same 80 pound text weight paper that we're used to in the planners um and here are the pen swatches. I'll come back to this at the very end. Um, and then the notes that I took, we'll come back to that also. So this is just your standard. It's, it's very similar to the other seven by nine notebooks and the eight and a half by 11 notebooks, um, in terms of paper quality. The only difference that I think I'm seeing is that these are not perforated and the seven by nine and eight and a half by 11 are perforated. Um, and there's the sheet of small stickers in the back of it. Um, so that's one of the A5 notebooks. Um, the other format is the productivity layout. Look at this cover. I love this cover. It is like this, the pastels, but just enough color to make me smile without being overwhelming. Um, I like this one. Um, this one is colorful. So you've got the, the standard color scheme that you've got with any of the colorful air and condren things. Um, with the productivity section, you're gonna see um, different colors on every page. And there's um, the Erin Condren logo that matches this right here. And it's just, just standard lined on this side. Um, three quarters of the sheet, 
I actually don't know if it's three quarters or a third or what the ratio is, but part of the sheet is lined and then part of it, you've got your header, you've got a to-do dot and a blank line, another to-do dot, a blank line, and then that pattern repeats. Um, and then it's, like I said, it's got different colors on every page. So I do have a sample set of notes in here somewhere. There we go. This is where I had some trouble with my pen. Now you can't tell on the sheet, and we'll, we'll come back and look at this too with the pen itself. You can't tell that it was kind of leaking when I was writing here, but I don't know. I'm still mad about it. <laughs> um, so that's for the productivity one. Now I don't know if they're going to have the other, um, I don't know the price point yet either, and I don't know if they're going to have um, the same formats that they have available in the 7x9 and 8.5x11. Those bigger two sizes have graph paper, um, I don't know what it's called, the, like the drawing journal, it's just plain white paper. So there's dot grid, graph, the drawing paper, then the line, which it has, and then the productivity, which it has. So I don't know if those other three formats are going to be available in the A5. Um, this cover, you guys, it's like a watercolor flower. It's the vegan leather, um, kind of rigid, so it's it's a little more durable. Looks like you can um, have it embossed. Mine says 2022. Um, same beautiful design on the back. I just love that. Um, and then it's got like the neutral colors on it. And this is classic lined notebook cultural paper. It's got um, the gray logo up at the top. Lots of room to write. Pages are perforated. And the, I don't think there's anything different in the back. Nope. And it has the um, sheet of neutral stickers as well. These covers with the um, vegan leather covers are not interchangeable. Um, and they feel good. I love them so much. Um, that is it for the notebooks. The new notebooks, anyway. Um, I do want to show you one more thing before we do this. The swatches. Um, this is the vegan leather portfolio cover that I like. Um, some people put their planner in it. I like my notebooks in it. I feel like it's a little, my planner's a little too chunky because I use stickers in it. Um, so if I put my planner in here, it just, it doesn't work well for me. This works well for me because I can have my notebook and then stationery in there as well. So... Um, I can have my to-do post-its. I can tuck little post-its in there. This is what I wanted to show you. Um, All right, so my microphone did cut out, and I, I don't know exactly where, but I know I pointed out that I like my little to-do list. I like having my 7x9 um, notebook in this portfolio. I think everything's super convenient. Um, I like that I can keep my, um, what is this called? Um, my stationery from the Focus collection that just tucked away back here in case I ever need to write a, a note. And then I usually tuck an envelope down in here just in case. Um, so I like that. I like that, not that I need to put a pen on this because I have a pen loop right here, but if I wanted to put one on the notebook, it sticks on, it doesn't flop around. Um, it seems to be pretty sturdy. So I wanted to call out also, at least on the 7x9 and 8.5x11, you can upload your own image um, for the cover. So if you want to customize it and personalize it like that, um, you absolutely can. I think that probably will be an option for the A5 as well. But I don't know. I haven't seen that just yet. Um, so a couple things to think about there. So this is the coiled... A5 address book. This will retail for $20. Um, interchangeable cover. It has um, three letters per section with the exception of Y and Z just has two. Um, at the very beginning, you've got um, important dates for January through December. Each month has five, five lines. And then Inside each section, you have room for 42 entries. So it's got name, birthday, email, phone, and address. And then at the very end of each section, 
after the very last entry, you've got just a lined sheet of paper at the back. Um, each section is a different color. I think this one's my favorite. And then Y and Z, because it's a smaller section, it has entries for, I think, uh, what was it? This one has entries for 24. You can have up to 24 entries there. And then on the very last page, you've got your essential numbers. It's got emergency services, which police, ambulance, fire, poison control, mental health, a family contact, a neighbor, physician, dentist, insurance, utilities, work contact, landlord or homeowners association, pharmacy, therapist, and veterinarian. So that is the A5 address book. All right, now let's sit down and talk about the different pens and look at the swatching. So I want to start um, with the ballpoint pens. Let me get these things kind of organized here. So the ballpoint pens, you know, like I said, they're just standard ballpoint pens. Um, nothing fancy about them other than they're cute. Um, they're super lightweight, easy to carry around. Um, I don't know that that's something I would buy on my own. I, I like pens that write a little bit better and that feel better in my hand. Like these, these feel better in my hand. I mentioned that this part of it right here is softer. It has like the pen grip on it. And then this is like the just standard plastic, but um, you can tell a little bit of a difference here. It's just, again, it's, it's a ballpoint click pen, uh, but the ink looks like it's a higher quality and they feel good in my hand. So if I had to choose between this one and this one, I would absolutely pay the extra $2 for um, one, you get an extra pen and they feel better. Um, the stamps, to be honest, I don't know that I would use these. Um, I love the idea of it and it's super fun. Um, my youngest daughter really likes this. Um, and I like that they have color options. All right, so these video did cut out on me again and I just wanted to show just a quick swatch of what it looked like on the white paper and the sticky notes. You can't see the white but you can on the, the post-it there. So that is the metallic. All right and just because I'm struggling with the video and the swatches I will put pictures of these on my blog too so you can take a closer look. It'll be way more in focus and uh, hopefully less distracting. Um, so this is a chisel tip. This is the one that I had some trouble with the pen taking notes. This is where I was taking notes actually. So I used the mermaid one and it didn't smear at all. I think it just, it looked really good on the page. I was able to use the highlighter. I used um, actually what I used for the black was the um, ultra fine tip marker that I have from, you know, a different collection. But um, you've got the color on the one side and then your highlighter there. So the black worked really well. Um, for notes, I liked the fine tip better. Um, I could have used, just grabbed the black and wrote the black there, but I just, fine tips a little bit better in my opinion. Um, so super fine right here. I don't trust these yet. Um, I don't know that they're going to leak or not. You can see it coming down. I just, this one's blue. I thought this one was black. Um, but I just, I'm not sold on these yet. Maybe for the highlighters. This one's kind of, you can see it's kind of leaking here too. So I don't know, maybe I'll do a follow-up video in a couple weeks after I've used these for a lot longer to see if I had any more trouble with them. But for now, I wouldn't recommend these. You see a little bit of leaking there too. Um, but the 
the dual tip highlighters might be well too. I'll, I'll use these for another, you know, the, a week or two and give them a, a little try and see if we see leaking with the, the black pen side. But um, the colors are really pretty coming out of here. Again, I love the highlighters. Um, maybe I will do a swatch too of how it compares to the other Erin Condren highlighters um, from the highlighter collection. Um, we'll see. Um, but I do like that you seem to be able to do just the highlighting and if I wanted to write with it, I could because this tip right now at least is is sharp enough that I could write pretty crisply with it. And I don't feel like they bleed through the paper either. It looks, it looks pretty good. And then that didn't seem to bleed through either from the notes. And I think that was it in terms of swatching the new pens. Um, so I did talk about the Ultra Fine pen set. These are my favorite right now. Um, I really like the dual tip markers too, um, but I really like the Ultra Fine tip. These are 0.3 millimeters, um, so you get a really crisp line. Um, and it has pretty rich color without bleeding through the paper. So I really like these, the colorful ultra fine tip. Definitely recommend these for note taking. Um, and then I also have the fine tip markers, which look like this. So if you're going to compare them, they look different. Um, but there are different sets. You, they have three sets of seven. There's a pastel pack, a warm neutral pack, and a bright pack. Um, if you get all three of those, you'll have a couple duplicates. Um, light pink is in both the pastel and the warm neutrals, and then gold is in the warm neutral and the brights. Um, so you will get a couple duplicates. Um, size difference here, when I write things down, I can't see a difference in the size between them. Um, but in terms of how it feels writing on the paper and the colors available, there's there's a definite difference. Um, but then the the fine tip are also available in a pack of 24. Um, and the colors that are in that pack that you won't get even if you buy all three of these are red, aloe, kelly green, and black. Um, and here's the comparison in the different sizes. So. All right, so I think that is about it for, for new products to show you. So some of these things are already on the site, um, but most do launch today. Um, I would be so, so happy if you'd click on my Erin Condren affiliate link below. Check out what's new on the site and then come back here and leave a comment to let me know what you think about them. Um, also, if you're new to Erin Condren, you can get a $10 coupon code to use on your first purchase by following the new to Erin Condren link down in the description also. Also, um, as always, if you have any questions about anything I covered, feel free to shoot me a message. I'd be happy to chat. Um, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great day and I can't wait to talk to you.